Greetings, YouTube. Danny Staten here on the Daddy Dan blog. Today I'm looking at Dark Shadows number 23 and number 24 from 1973 and 1974. It's a double shot of Dark Shadows. Hell, if I have time, I may throw another one in there, but this is going to be a long video, so buckle up, boys and girls. Hey, YouTube, before I get started on this Dark Shadows comic book review, I want to give a special shout out to my friend Pat McCormick. He just sent me a package. Let's bust it open and see what's in there real quick before we get started. Look at that, he done sent me an autographed picture. You know, he's famous. He used to be on General Hospital, and he played in several rock bands. Wow, this means a lot to me. Thank you, Pat McCormick. Oh, he sent me something else, too. Check it out, YouTube. A great big giant shirt for my great big giant ass. Ah, from his YouTube channel, The Golden Rage of TV. You know, before I get started on this Dark Shadow stuff, I just wouldn't feel right if I didn't give old Pat McCormick a real big shout-out for sending me this cool picture and, and this cool shirt, so... Let's let Pat tell us about Dark Shadows real quick before we get started. What do you think? What do you say, boys and girls? Does that sound like a good idea? The 71, 1225 episodes of a unique soap opera made its original network run. Based off a dream had by creator Dan Curtis, the show's original title was Shadows on the Wall. Later, it was changed to Dark Shadows. It is distinguished as the first daytime soap opera to be syndicated and the first ABC soap to make the transition to color. But the initial season did not go well in the ratings department as the show generally ranked at the bottom of the daytime heap. On the verge of cancellation, Curtis thought up a new character. Reportedly, he'd always wanted to make a vampire picture, and this was his chance. Fittingly, writer Ron Sprout found a certain name by browsing through headstones in a cemetery. And in 1967, actor Jonathan Frid debuted as the rigid yet elegant Barnabas Collins. Viewers loved the new character, as shown by the huge ratings rebound, thus making Frid a bona fide star. The broadcast reached nearly 3 million households during Barnabas' first year, and by 1969, Dark Shadows had become ABC's most popular soap opera. As one of TV Guide's top cult TV shows, it was the first soap to spawn theatrical releases, House of Dark Shadows in 1970, and its sequel, Night of Dark Shadows in 71. However, the ratings dropped almost as quickly as they rose, which led ABC to cancel the show. But 41 years later, Barnabas was resurrected yet again and played by Johnny Depp in Tim Burton's comedic adaptation. Pleasing the many fans, the original cast members Laura Parker, David Selby, Catherine Lee Scott, and Jonathan Frid all made cameo appearances. That's right, YouTube. I'm a big fan of Pat McCormick over at the Golden Rage of TV on YouTube. I suggest everybody, well, the 66 or 67 people that might actually watch this video, I recommend all y'all check out that. So, YouTube, be sure to check out my friend Pat McCormick over at the Golden Rage of TV here on YouTube. He's a great guy, and I really, really love his channel. So, let's get back to these Dark Shadows comic book reviews now. Oh, my God. Uh, Gold Key Comics, 1973 and 1974, respectively. Well, December and January. So, whoo. I mainly bought these comic books for the covers, as I always do. Look, there's a good one of Jonathan Fred on the cover. And I, I'm not really impressed with this cover as much, but it, it, it does have the original Barnabas' face up on it. And that kind of makes it worth it to me, even though I'm pretty sure these stories aren't going to be what we would expect. So in opening pages, some witch is putting a spell on Barnabas, and he's going to fall down some stairs. Oh, boy, the excitement's going to mount in these old comic books, huh? So in full panels, brought to you by the Daily Dan blog, there's a car wreck, there's a crash, and Barnabas saves the guy. So I guess he's going to be the hero vampire in this one with all that excitement. <laughs> you know, he might have been able to save that fucker a little bit better if he hadn't been wearing that cross, huh? Barnabas gets pissed and turns into a bat and flies away. And already going to get a commercial for some dragster crap. Oh, my God, little car is wild. <laughs> Barnabas then flew up the hill and got his little black doctor bag. And he called a rescue squad. And they're going to come and they're going to save the old man. But the old man's an asshole. Wow. 
Uh, he looked all beat up, don't he? Give him two little band-aids on his face. And Barnabas is flying around the city like a bat. Boy, don't you just love the excitement in these old things? I'm not going to tell a real good story about this because it's kind of depressing. So apparently this guy's car was sabotaged. Oh my God, somebody's tried to kill him. They sneak it in to do the deed, but Barnabas was around and saved this guy's ass again. Called the cops, took off the bad guy. Hey, this guy would have goddamn cut Barnabas a big ass check because he keeps saving his old goopy ass. Look, what the? He got a kick bite or something on his chest that I. So after page and page and page of the old man being in the hospital talking to Barnabas, ah, he's finally goddamn gonna get his little ass out. Now I got, by the way, dude, uh, you're a vampire now. Ah! Cool commercials for stupid bicycles. Oh my God. Anyway, Barnabas is indoctrinating this old man into being a vampire, and that's about the extent of this slow ass con. And we get more pages and pages and pages of stupid ads. Even though this looks like it might have been kind of interesting. So in the fire, oh my God, the beacon. Continued. It's end of part one. This guy lived. This guy became like El Dictatoro, a real badass guy running around at night running stuff. And, and the people hate him. Oh, Barnabas, what have you done? Oh my God, YouTube, there's a rip in the comic book. Ah! I hate that. Anyway, they dragging people out. They put them in front of the fire squad. This dick is a dictator. A dick. Tater, he's a dick. He's a dick, Tater. Get it, YouTube? Anyway, he's, he's, he's been all cool with Barnabas, but he's making bitches scrub floors and having people shot. We know how to handle people like that in four panels brought to you by the Daily Dan blog. Meanwhile, some dumb bitch we don't know is running away to the beast to suck face with this guy that we haven't seen through the whole freaking comic book. More ads, more ads, more ads. In 69, you can get all these cool shirt decals for 69 cents each. I actually ordered a few of these, and they were cool. So, in full panels, brought to you by the Daily Dan blog, and these really cool art in this graphically good Dark Shadows comic book, we see a bunch of crap. The Dictator. This new guy who showed up, and he just showed up like last page, and now he's all hanging out with Barnabas and trying to be all Lancelot out here talking to these poor peasants who's being abused and messed with by the Dictator, dick, dictator, I get it. So in full panels, brought to you by the Daily Dan blog. Dictator's getting all evil. Dictator's causing problems for the people. Barnabas and some gay guy who come off a boat, they headed out to see the witch, right here, this witch, and they gotta put a spell on the dictator, it looks like. Our Barnabas one, according to the cover. What a turncoat bitch. The cover was correct. She sabotaged the Barnabas. She dropped him down the hall and almost killed his vampire ass. Wait a minute. Isn't his vampire ass already dead? Guess not. Uh, he's about to be, though. Uh, but lover boy from the ship comes by and scatters the sand, making Barnabas okay. Who is this guy that showed up out of nowhere anyway? This, this, this book this book killing me. Yeah, YouTube, I'm glad it's about over. They threw some free gifts for the whole family back here. Some Marjorie gifts, that is, with this little thing right here. And you can send us in and get these. Back in 1973. Oh, wow, check out this, YouTube. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. Freaky guy, ugly witch. Ashes. People fall dead for no freaking reason. Uh, maybe they got shot down. I don't know. Everybody's falling dead. That's right. It's a big revolt. It's a big, it's a big insurrection. They have to get the dictator, but the dictator gets smart and turns into a bat. He a vampire because Barnabas done bit him up. Now look at that sub tops and submachine gun. That, 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 that don't work. So he grabbed a crossbow off the wall. Yeah, he did. And he, he shot the crossbow, hit the, he killed that dictator. And in the end of this, Barnabas learns his lesson about turning assholes into vampires. And that's the first comic book. Wow. Wow, that's the end. Dictator's dead. More commercials in the back of the book. And we've all seen this before. I had these little stick soldier mother... Well, YouTube, that's my look at this Dark Shadows comic book. What do you think about that? Huh. Let's check out the other one. Oh, this is going to be fun. The number 23, Dark Shadows. I got that cool cover. Got Barnabas. Got a two-headed dog from hell. This ought to be interesting, maybe. Okay, YouTube, I may stand corrected. Victoria Winters runs towards Collinwood.
in the rain. Oh, the excitement. Victoria Winters enters Collinwood. Checks out Grandpa. Hangs out with that cold shot looking motherfucker right there. Ah, talks to Barnabas. Whoa, the excitement. And in a scene that rips off a Dracula movie, the stage is heading. A stage? What year is this taking place in? It's a stagecoach. Bringing the Grit Begum, the Mad Hatter looking guy up here to meet Barnabas. And some more ads. Wow, we're going to have to roll on through this book, aren't we? Anyway, Mad Hatter guy meets up with Barnabas. They show him some pictures. Got this creepy looking dude. There's a bunch of creepy looking people running around this. Talking about some river that turned people into vampires. What the hell? Simple panels brought to you by the Daily Damn Blog. Victoria Winters gets a visit from this ghoul looking son bitch right here now. He done showed up looking like he creeped out a Boris Korloff movie. This book is really hard to follow. Oh my God, check it out, YouTube. Now a crypt keeper done showed up up in this bitch. And this little fat Pugsley Michael Harper looking clone. Ah! Oh my God. Dark Shadows, you're killing me. So, YouTube, basically... This evil looking dude here plans on spreading some water that turns everybody into vampires and Barnabas is going to try to stop him. How's he going to try to stop him? Ah, he going to seek the two-headed dog from hell on him. Oh my God, end part one. And then we get bombarded. I mean bombarded with ads. Ads, ads, and more ads. Heck, I'm sure every guy reading this comic book's gonna want Jenny Jones and her baby John. Yeah, that's a real stupid ad to put in a Dark Shadows comic book. And we're even gonna get a stupid story called The Phantom Strikes. Why are you gonna strike at that Betty Crocker Easy Bake Oven or something? Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, it's 16 fucking pages of ads. Ah! Oh my God, man. Why is this the goddamn Christmas edition? I never seen so many ads for toys in all my god darn life. Again, again, it's still going on YouTube. Ad after ad after ad. Some of that shit looks pretty cool, like smash them up. But ad after ad. Oh, suddenly my eyes and my head feel like they're going to explode as I look at ad after ad after ad. Again, more ads. Blind Adventures. That, that actually looks kind of kind of cool right there, don't it, YouTube? I am gonna get some yabba dabba dude. Does that motherfucker really look like Fred Flintstone and Betty Barney? Ah! What the hell? Ah! God, all these damn commercials. Oh my God, YouTube! Wow, it, 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 it's, it's still going on, and now I'm going to hang myself if it continues. Yeah, YouTube. It did say 16 page fun catalog. I didn't know the fun catalog was going to be all that shit. Thank God we get back to the story where that two-headed dog's chasing that Michael Harper looking gay guy all around the town trying to step on him. Uh, he escapes. He gets back. He talks to the other people. And then we find that magic water that everybody drinks. They turn into some ugly ass prehistoric looking vampire. The girl's all upset. Ah, whatever shall I do? And you believe they got the audacity to put more commercials in this comic book. So, Victoria Winters is in big trouble now. Because ah! everybody done drank the water, turned into vampires, and now they want to eat her ass up. It just, this book really rolls right along. Barnabas is going to try to save the day. Because really, Barnabas is like king of the vampires. They got to put him on trial like he caused it. Barnabas is like, I didn't buy nobody. This is some water turned him into a vampire, and everybody thinks he's off. Freaking moron. As it is going to strap them out and tie people to a chair. They, they tie the witnesses to the chair in this trial. Luckily, old two headed dog doesn't come up, gonna cause some problems. So, in full panels, brought to you by the Daily Damn Blog. Old two headed dog shows up, messes up all kind of stuff for the vampires, ah, kills a few of them. Barnabas is quick to help Victoria Winters and Michael Harper and that other creepy looking guy escape. Ah, oh, big two headed dog. And with extreme nerve, they put more, they put more commercials in the back of this comic book. Oh my God. Ah, 16 pages wasn't enough. Everybody's escaping. Other vampires are being killed. It ends with a burn. They're going to burn out what's left of the vampires. Ah, Barnabas is a hero. He killed all the evil vampires that the water caused. What the freak? Why a weird comic book. Victoria looks all happy, but guess what? All of them didn't die. Ah. That's right, all of them didn't die, and that's the sad end of this comic book, even though it don't say that. Eh, 
Apple. More crappy commercials in the back. Look, they're going Viewmaster. Ah, the usual backseat bicycle cover. So that's my ungodly look at Dark Shadows 23 and 24 from 73 and 74. What? You guys want more? Well, if you want some more, let's take a quick look at number 31 from 1975, another Dark Shadows comic book. I got a lot of Dark Shadows comic books. Check out this one. It's got a Norse god like Thor in it, looking like Big Red, and, a, and Merlin the Magnificent Wizard looking guy. That ought to be pretty cool, huh? So apparently this piece of crap takes place back in medieval times with swords and Roman legions and part of us dressed the same way he does in Dark Shadows. This must be a time-traveling crap. Yeah, I should have known it. Something spins like one of them dimensional doorways. Sucks old Barnabas back to the days of knights and wizards. And oh my God, where'd they come up with this shit? So there you go. Barnabas is back in time hanging out with Merlin and Hagar the Horrible. A couple other people might have got sucked back in there with him. And there's another damn commercial with Wally Cody. Yeah, because... They love commercials in these fucking comic books. So in my big, long, full panels brought to you by the Daily Dan blog, nothing happens. Barnabas goes back in time. Barnabas gets captured. Oh, my God. Check out the face on this guy. Oh, who drew this? Your face. Yeah, your face. So it looks like Barnabas going to spend about half this comic book strapped to a damn table as Merlin gives him the third degree about where he's from and bloodsuckers and, oh, giant birds and... Thor burning down a village, oh shit. Yeah, equal crap. More commercials and more garbage. You believe that after eight pages, this motherfucker is still trapped, strapped to a damn table. Oh my freaking God. Will he finally break loose in page 14? Yeah, he got loose. Wow. Now he's going to run. Tormented by more commercials. Ah, this is the books of commercials. Dark Shadows must get paid by that commercial. So, in full page, was brought to you by the Daily Dan blog. In part two, he got away and ran all the way to the sea. And we're going to get to see some Vikings, some Norse gods. How the hell did all of a sudden he go from medieval times over to getting captured by, by the Norse and the Vikings? And don't fuck with Barnabas because he's a badass. He will throw you through the air like you're a rag doll in one of my longest comic book reviews I've ever done. Oh, I wouldn't be giving it praise if I didn't say, God damn, that's some good art right there, boys and girls. That's a Viking bitch I'd like to meet. Yeah, boy. And another commercial because that's what they do. So in full panels, brought to you by the Daily Dan blog. That girl helps him. He forms a thing. He flies back into the present. No, he's back in medieval times. That goddamn vortex don't work right. Look at this bitch. She look like she come out of Star Trek. I don't know what's happening now. I'm lost. Yeah, in this saga, Barnabas is going to bounce all around time. I think I know exactly which time zone I would stay in. But Barnabas is going to bounce all around time. He's going to fight with Vikings. He's going to fight with, with, with the Medieval castle people and all that crap with the wizard had happened earlier. And if you didn't order this, you were lucky. I ordered that little rubber piece of crap. That was a piece of garbage. And I sold the shit from grit, too. That was some more garbage with crappy prizes. Check it out. They can cut somebody's head off over here. Oh, Barnabas, you're back with these medieval motherfuckers again. Ah, and, and, and what the hell's going on here? It's a time storm. So have all panels brought to you by the Daily Dan blog. Barnabas saved the girl. Barnabas killed the guy. Barnabas traveled back in time, travels through time, travels at all times, and brings the guy back to Collinwood. Thank God this is over. Thank God this dismal nightmare of a comic is over. Yeah, YouTube, that's the way it ends. Thank you, Jesus. It's over. And I'll prove it's over by turning the last page and showing you some more commercials. So he has some garbage and ending it with this. Ah! So there you go, YouTube. There's your look at three Dark Shadows comic books from 73, 74, and 75. Wow, that's the rank goddamn amount of numbers right there, ain't it? Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Be sure to check out my friend Pat McCormick. Don't forget about him at the front of this video. And until next time, this is Danny Staten on the Daily Dan Blog saying, Blog over, dudes!